Hi, this is Taryn Grom, editor of Pharma Voice. We met with numerous inspirational thought leaders at this year's DIA annual conference as part of our Editors Take video series. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. In this episode, Taryn meets with Bruce Morimoto, Vice President, Scientific Affairs, Solarion. Bruce, welcome to Boston and 2018 DIA. Thanks, it's great to be here. Bruce, as Vice President of Scientific Affairs, what do you see as one of the more exciting scientific breakthroughs or developments within drug development? I think it's the convergence of our understanding of disease mechanisms is really exciting. For example, inflammation, which is prevalent in things like COPD, respiratory disease, is also found in various metabolic disorders like NASH. And that this convergence of the mechanisms helps us really understand the core of some of these disease processes, even in diseases like uh, neuro neurodegenerative disease diseases like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's. So it's really an exciting time right now. So how is this mechanism convergence impacting your work, what you're doing at Solarion? Well, Solarion is one of the leaders in early clinical research, doing a lot of phase one studies. And to support these types of studies, what we end up doing is developing a lot of biomarker work. And the biomarkers that we're developing in things like uh, NASH and COPD are being able to be translated into other areas. Do you see this as the true epitome of what personalized medicine could become? I think it really is because as we're learning more about these mechanisms, it's pointing us in the direction that, you know, everything needs to be tailored to a particular patient. That's wonderful. Now, I didn't know that Solarian has expertise in vaccine research. What type of biomarkers do you need to support this area of clinical research? Well, so for the so our clinical development group, um, particularly in Europe, has an vast uh, experience in doing vaccine research. So we work on both the preventative vaccines like Zika, Chikungunya, and uh, and uh, influenza, but we also work on various therapeutic uh, vaccines, things for colorectal cancer. And in developing and supporting those types of areas of research, we have developed a lot of these biomarkers that seem to translate between these different disease states. Vaccines is a tough business to be in, especially for your sponsor companies. So what is the feeling in terms of bringing these vaccines to fruition? I think what's important is having this core scientific expertise, which Solarin really brings to the game. Um, what we find is that we find that our sponsors really rely on having some specialized techniques like uh, flow cytometry, some illy spot, uh, qPCR, as some of the more sophisticated techniques that we actually can bring to uh, apply into these types of clinical trials. Well, thanks so much for explaining um, the vaccine area, because I do think it's an important area of clinical research. So congratulations and best wishes for continued success. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Great. For more information on this topic, visit our Thought Leaders website. For more Editors Take videos from the DIA Annual Conference, visit www.pharmavoice.com. Thanks for joining us.